The remarkable Sea Glider promises to revolutionize coastal transportation cleanly, combining the convenience of an electric boat with the speed and comfort of an airplane, and offering unparalleled efficiency and range thanks to hydrofoils and wing ground effect. When an aircraft flies extremely low, within its wingspan of the surface below, ground effect creates a kind of air cushion on which it can ride, providing additional lift and allowing it to travel extra miles from its energy source. As the world moves toward decarbonization, the numbers are stacking up little better than they did during the Cold War. Batteries struggle to provide useful range figures in planes and boats, they are too heavy for aircraft and do not carry enough energy to propel boats through the high-friction environments of the water. But Regent's design reduces hydrodynamic drag by using a retractable hydrofoil setup, and increases air range by using a wing-on-ground effect, as well as a blown wing, in the form of an Akranaplan-style wing. The resulting a Viceroy Sea Glider a promises to carry 12 passengers and two crew members, or 3,500 pounds per 1,600 kilograms of cargo, at a cruising speed of 180 miles per hour, 300 kilometers per hour, for a range of at least 180 miles, 300 kilometers, flying at ultra-low altitudes 30 to 60 feet, 9 to 18 m, above the water's surface. That's about six times faster and much more comfortable than a boat, and it can operate in much higher wave conditions than similarly sized ships. And compared to an airplane, it promises to cost about half as much to operate, run much quieter, and have the flexibility to operate from a wide range of dockside locations. Hydrofoils and ground effect vehicles require super precise control with superhuman response times, so both phases of a flight, in and out of the water, and the transition between the two, will be managed by electronic flight control systems. It will be a very simple craft, capable of push button takeoff and landing from the pilot's seat.